Hi guys, Robert Horvitz here, naturopathic doctor. Lifelongwell.ca is the site. Um, right now, I want to I want to discuss something that's really exploded in the supplement market uh, over the last eh, let's say two years. It's exploded. It's everywhere. You can't go to a health food store now without seeing green coffee bean extract. Uh, see what I did there? Uh, mixing in coffee here, guys. It's, we're still on the topic of coffee, so stay with me. Chlorogenic acid, green coffee bean extracts for weight loss. You've heard it. You've seen it. If you've gone into health food stores, if you haven't seen it, eh, you know, it's up to you. I wouldn't really bother with it too much. First of all, you should know when it comes to weight loss, there are very, very few things you can take in terms of supplements that will give you any results whatsoever in weight loss, okay, in terms of burning fat. Why are we making it complicated in terms of weight loss? We all know what we need to do. And if you don't know, I will say it for the gajillion time because you'll find it on every other website uh, on the marketplace, really, if they know what they're talking about, which is just diet and exercise. That's it. Why are we making it complicated? Exercise more. It's good for you in so many ways. You know, put on a pair of running shoes and go out for a jog. You know, at least in the summer, guys, if it's winter and you can't afford to belong to a gym of some kind, you know, grab a skipping rope. You know, do some cardio, whatever it is, to increase your physical activity. You're going to feel great. You release endorphins. It's anti-stress. You know, it's great for just total movement and flexibility, you know, for breathing, everything. It's just healthy for you. And then diet, just watch what you eat. You know, I'm going to try and mention certain opinions on different foods, which will hopefully give you something to think about. I can't give advice on these videos, but what I can do is I can give you something to think about, and then you can look into it on your own and speak with your doctor about them. But I will tell you, the green coffee bean extract is not it. First of all, the only thing that's really demonstrated to have marginal, and I'm talking, when I say marginal, guys, I mean really marginal, marginal weight loss uh, benefits, is really green tea, primarily because of the caffeine, right? Caffeine does boost metabolism. So whether you're drinking coffee or green tea, the naturally containing caffeine, just like when you take a caffeine pill, it will boost your metabolism. I mean, anybody who's, you know, had caffeine whatsoever through food or otherwise, right, through like coffee, green tea, or just a caffeine pill, you'll notice your heart rate starts to go up, you know, you see, obviously you start to sweat sometimes if you've had too much, your metabolism goes up and you can't, you burn energy more. It's still very marginal, like if you just sit around and you drink tons and tons of coffee, which I don't recommend, it's so bad for you, it's so bad for you, okay, don't do that, um, you know, you you could increase it and you might burn a little bit of fat, like very, 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 very little, if any. And that's like the best, okay? You know, other things like CLA, very marginal in terms of the research, even less so. Chlorogenic acid, guys, the studies are so sketchy. So unbelievably sketchy, okay? Don't buy into it. Um, look for the science yourself. Read the articles if you really, really want to do it. I just thought I'd save you time because it's really boring. Chlorogenic acid, you know those delicious, beautiful coffee beans that farmers grow all around the world that we love, you know, excuse me, brew our delicious coffee. Chlorogenic acid is one molecule within that entire beautiful bean, okay? Just like in the other videos, we did these videos on processing sugar, um, processing you know, with certain ingredients and creams like maltodextrin or other products, dairy, you know, dairy products, you know, I don't really know if they're dairy, if they can, if they contain mono and diglycerides, are they really dairy? I mean, that certainly didn't come out of the cow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, so chlorogenic acid is one compound out of, a, you know, not a gajillion, but there's, you know, maybe hundreds, possibly thousands of unique molecules within a whole coffee bean. I mean, that goes without saying, guys. Look, there's caffeine, there's an ECGC, which is a potent antioxidant. There's a compound called l theanine which is marketed on shelves of health food stores as well as like an anti-stress, calming, sleep-promoting compound. Again, all these things, though, most of the time, how do they rip l theanine or ECGC or chlorogenic acid in green coffee bean extract? How do they rip it out of the bean? Chemicals! Most of the time, guys, it's chemicals. Unless on the bottle it says... New revolutionary chemical free method. You know, they use a supercritical method or something to rip it up, which I can explain by the way in a little later video. You know, mention in the comments if you want to learn about that and I will tell you about it. Um, but most of the time they use harsh chemical solvents to rip it out. So, same with chlorogenic acid, unless it says something on the bottle that leads you to believe that it's chemical free. First of all, chlorogenic acid by itself is a chemical, it's not a coffee bean, it's not a food. Nobody eats chlorogenic acid. You know, chlorogenic acid is a chemical. 
It's an isolated molecule. It's a chemical by itself, and you have to use harsh chemicals to remove this chemical. And then when you take this chemical, is it really going to help you lose weight? It's not going to, guys. Unless it just motivates you to work out harder and focus on your diet and all that. Yeah, then you'll for sure lose weight on that. By the way, I shouldn't use for sure, but I mean, we know diet and exercise, you're going to lose weight. You're going to feel great. So do that. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about green coffee bean extract. Drink your coffee. It's great. It's whole. Uh, by the way, decaffeinated coffee, most decaffeinated coffees, when they rip the caffeine, they use chemicals. I spoke about that in another video. If you want to drink decaffeinated coffee, you just can't tolerate caffeine whatsoever, but you'll love the taste of coffee like I do. Yep, I love it. Um, you want to be looking for coffee that says Swiss water, de uh, uh, Swiss water decaf. That's a chemical-free method, which to my knowledge really only uses water, I believe, uh, to remove the caffeine safely. So you're left with everything else. Except for the caffeine, you're only using water, not, no harsh chemical solvents are used. And that's all for now. Check out lifelongwell.ca if you guys want to see any of the products or, you know, nutrient-dense whole foods, certain supplements that I have on there. I'll be adding more and more, but I'm very, very selective. I know everybody says that. I'm going to say that too. I mean it. I'm extremely selective. I, on on lifelongwell.ca, you will never see a low-end, a medium-end, and a high-end product. Ever. I don't believe in it. Okay, if you want a low end, you know, go to Walmart, Shoppers, I mean, whatever they have in the States, Walgreens, I'm sure you could find some crappy supplements there. You know, maybe some good stuff too. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on Walgreens or anything, but usually in the mass market stuff, you get the lower quality. They want to give people a choice. You know, if you can't afford the high, high quality stuff and you, you know, you want to kind of figure things out, you have a choice between low, medium, and high quality. Guys, the ultimate goal is health and wellness. I believe. As soon as you make that jump and you want to start taking these products, you're looking for the best. You want to make a positive difference in the body. And I think the best way to do that is to gravitate towards what you think the highest quality is. If it's too expensive, just take less of it. I'd rather take less of a really, really high quality product than more of a, a, a low quality product. So anyway, that's my philosophy. It might not be for everybody. That's just my opinion personally. That's what I want to do. So lifelong well. It's not for everybody. If you're looking for lower quality stuff, there's so many other websites you can go and you'll get tons of choice. On lifelongwell.ca, you will only see highest quality products, okay? And I will um, review them personally and I choose them personally. It doesn't have everything right now, but there's a lot of good stuff on there. So check it out. You'll get $5 off just by um, uh, becoming an account member. You'll see a, a rewards points thing on the bottom. Just enter some information. You'll get that right away. So see you guys in the next video. Having a lot of fun doing this. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.